Hey everyone, so this week we are talking about motherhood. So I want to start by just framing what is motherhood and what do we mean by motherhood? Because often we don't really reflect on this idea. We think about it in terms, first and foremost, often in a very gendered way and a very sexed way. So mother, what does that often bring to mind? Well, usually a womanly body, a female body. So a woman identified female who has children in her vicinity, in her presence, who is in, who is in some way giving care. But really, when we think about mothering the act and motherhood, the activity or the embodiment of giving care, I want us to really think about motherhood as this care-based identity, as something that is intentional. I want us to think about to what extent is motherhood related to either genetics or gestation or neither? To what extent do we really want to think about motherhood as about social or behavioral interactions, about the historical constructions of motherhood? And hopefully, as you read this week, those readings brought some of those ideas about mothering into picture and into focus, and even brought into focus the ideas of male mothering. So this week, the lectures will maybe break down some of these motherhood constructions, and we'll think a little bit about, are there sex prerequisites for motherhood? Do we only define mothers as females, or do males mother? Do we have to say that only females mother, or the act of mothering, which is caregiving, is that really a de-sexed act? Is it an act that anyone can do, regardless of their physiology, their biological makeup? And I think when we return to the readings, we'll find that most of our authors really see mothering as a de-sexed, as a sex-neutral activity, as something anyone can do. And then we're additionally going to look at gendering of motherhood. Is motherhood gendered? Is it something that really women do, or do men also mother? So looking at male mothering, looking at men mothering, looking at women mothering, looking at females mothering. And hopefully that's enough of a taste to get you all excited about the readings and excited about the lectures for this week. Looking forward to those blogs.